Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be solving the lead code question, balanced binary tree. All right, so in this question, we're going to be given a binary tree and we want to determine if it is a uh, height balanced. Okay, so for this problem, a height balanced binary tree is defined as. So what exactly does it mean to be height balanced? So a binary tree in which the left and the right subtrees of every node, every node, differ in height by no more than one, so plus or minus one. Okay, so let's take an example and let's look at example number one. So in this case, it is a balanced uh, binary tree. Okay, so what is the height of everything to the left of three? So everything to the left of three over here is going to just be, there's only one value, which is nine. So we have a height of one. Now, if you look at everything to the right of three, we have a height of two, so 20, and then whatever is over here, 15 and seven. So in that case, it is going to be a valid height balance tree. And the reason for that is because the difference between two and one is equal to one. So it, it still does count. So again, we want to make sure that we're doing this for each and every single node. So now we want to check at nine. So let's look at uh, nine's children. So on the left and on the right, there are no children. So in that case, as it is, it is already balanced. Okay, so same for 15 and seven, the same thing applied. So those two nodes are also balanced. So now let's look at 20 and to the left of 20, we have one node and a height of one. And to the right of 20, we have one node and a height of one. So in both the cases, the height is exactly the same. So that means that uh, it is at 20 as well. It is balanced. So since it is balanced at each and every single node, that means that overall our tree over here is balanced. Okay. So that is the basic idea of what the question is asking for. And now let's just look at an unbalanced tree. Okay. So example two over here is an, so example two over here is an unbalanced uh, tree and it's unbalanced by uh, the basis of height. So in this case, a simple example where you can notice that is the height of the right of one over here is one, but the height to the left of one is uh, one, two, three, right? So it's greater than one, right? And in that case, uh, we're not going to have the same height. And even the height, whatever the height is over here, is not going to be a uh, plus or minus one of this over here. So in that case, it is not going to be a valid answer. So we end up outputting false. So now let's see how we can solve this question. And um, let's look at this over here. And before that, let's just see what the uh, definition is. So for a balanced binary tree, the left and right subtree must have a difference in height of plus or minus one. Okay. So now that we know this, we're going to be looking at the same solution over here, and we're going to be looking at a recursive approach. So we're going to be iterating through our binary tree over here, and the way that we're going to be traversing through it is going to be called a post-order traversal, okay? So in a post-order traversal, we first go to the left node, then we go to the right node, and then we go to a root node, okay? So let's see how this actually applies in case of our question. So in the beginning, we're going to start off at our root. And now we're going to go to the left of our root. So in this case, that's nine. And at nine, we're going to go to the left of nine. So over here, we actually have a value of none. Okay. So at this point, uh, what exactly are we going to end up outputting? So to see what our outputs are going to be, let's just go back to uh, in the beginning when we defined what we were looking at. So there's two main conditions that we're looking at. And the main thing is we want to find the height of each subtree at each of our nodes. So for example, we're currently at nine. So we want to look at the nine's left subtree and its right subtree and get each of its heights. So height is one thing that we want to get. Now, after we get the height value over here, we want to decide whether it is balanced or not. So that is the other thing that we want to keep track of. So since there's two things that we're keeping track of, we're going to be using a tuple uh, to keep track of both of them. Tuple, tuple, however you're supposed to say it. Okay, so currently we're over here. So we're at the left of nine and it has a value of none. So when something has a value of none, uh, like we went up and saw earlier, in that case, we're gonna assume that it is balanced. So in this case, the height at this instance over here, we're gonna output it to be zero. And the other value we wanna say is whether it's balanced or not. So we're also going to say that this over here is balanced. So we're going to have true. So for true or false, I'll just use T and F. So now we want to go to the right of nine. So now when we go to the right of nine, what we're going to do is the same thing. So we go to the right of nine. And over here, 
we're going to again have a value of none. So the same thing is going to end up outputting. We're going to have zero and true. Okay, perfect. So now we found these two values, but what exactly is going to be the value of nine itself, right? So basically what we're doing is we're recursively checking the left and right subtrees of each of our nodes. So we already checked the left and right of nine and we got these values, but now we want to find out what the height of nine is. So in this case, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this value over here, which in this case is zero, and we're going to add one to it. And to be more specific, uh, specific so we're going to be taking the maximum between the, uh, the height of the left subtree and the height of the right subtree. And the reason we're taking the maximum between those two is because we only want to uh, worry about whatever the maximum value is uh, to get the height value. Okay, so in this case, uh, the, they are the same value, so we're going to have a height of 0 plus 1. So we're going to increase the height by 1. So in this case, it's going to have a height of 1. And now the question is, is it balanced or not? So to come to a conclusion of whether it's balanced or not, there's a few things that we want to check. So the first thing we want to check is, is the left subtree balanced? It is. So the left subtree is balanced, so that's one condition. The second condition is uh, the is if the right uh, subtree is balanced. And in this case, that is also true. And now what we want to check is once look at the two heights and check if the absolute difference between those two is less than one. And it is, right? So they're both the same height. So all the three conditions have been met. And since all three conditions have been met, it is also going to be balanced over here, okay? So uh, now that I went through this kind of slowly, step by step, let's just go through the rest of this kind of fast, okay? So now we're going to go back at three. And we're not going to give 3 a value yet because we only went to the left of 3. Now we want to look at everything to the right of 3. So now we're going to go to the right of 3, getting us to 20. And now we're going to go to the left of it, which is 15. So at 15, the same thing is going to happen. We're going to have none over here, none over here. So this would have a value of 0, comma t and 0, comma true. Okay, perfect. So what is the value of 15 going to be? So in this case, 15 is now going to have have a height of 1, okay? Uh, so the reason that, uh, we're doing that is 0 plus 1, and it's going to be true because it does satisfy the three conditions that we talked about earlier. So now we have to go to the right of 20. So at the right of 20, we have one node, which is the value 7, and over here, the same thing is going to happen. They're going to have the values of 0, comma t, 0, comma t, and 7 over here is going to have a value of 1, comma true. Okay, so now that we got these two values, we're going to go up to the value of 20. So we got its left subtree and its right subtree. So in this case, uh, real quickly, let's look at the conditions again. So the left subtree is balanced. The right subtree is also balanced. And now we want to check whether from 20, everything is balanced. And to do that, uh, the difference between 1 and 1 is 0. So in that case, it is balanced, right? So all three of them uh, pass through. So in this case, it is going to be balanced. So we have a true. And the height is going to be uh, 1 plus 1. So in this case, 2. Okay, okay, so perfect. So at 20, we have this value of 2 comma t, okay? So now after we go to, so now what does this actually mean? So this means that we've gone to everything to the left of 3 and we're done with that. And we've also gone to everything to the right of 3. But now we want to check if our subtree is balanced at the root node itself. And to do that is pretty simple. So the two values that we're going to be looking at they are going to be 1 comma t and 2 comma t. So in this case, uh, the same conditions hold true. The left subtree is balanced, the right subtree is balanced, and what is the difference between these two heights? So the right subtree has a height of 2, and the left subtree has a height of 1. So that gives us a difference of 1. Now in this case, a difference of 1 is acceptable for our question over here. So in that case, it is going to be balanced, so we're going to have true, and uh, the height over here is going to be whatever the maximum is. So in this case, 2, uh, since 2 is bigger than 1, and plus 1. So the height over here is going to be 3. But we don't really care about the height, but in this case, it is going to be 3, okay? So what we end up outputting is going to be this value over here, which over here ends up being true. Okay, so hopefully you did understand that, and I'm pretty sure you could understand how this is a recursive solution. And now let's just try to code it out and that should be pretty simple. Okay, so to start off, we're gonna have a helper function over here and this is going to be the recursive part of it. So inside of our helper function, we're going to be taking only one uh, parameter and that is going to be the current node that we are on. Okay, so inside of this function, 
uh, we want to first account for the case where the value or the node does not exist. So if not node, then in that case, what exactly does that mean? So let's just look at it one example. So if that's the case, what's going to happen is that refers to something over here. So in that case, we just end up outputting a zero for the height of zero. And the value over here is going to end up being true because at that point, it is going to be balanced. Okay. So if not node, that's what we end up doing. So if we get past this, that means that we do have some sort of value at our node. So in that case, we're going to uh, get two, func uh, two values, okay? So over here, we're going to uh, get the left depth, okay? So this is going to be for everything on the left, okay? So for everything on the left, what we're going to do is we're going to do self.helper, and we're going to call the helper function on itself. And in this case, we're just going to get everything on the left, so root.left. So now we're going to do the same thing, but for the right, so right, is equal to self dot helper and then root dot right. Perfect. Okay, so now let's do, okay. okay, so one small mistake is that we don't need self, sorry. Um, so yeah, helper root dot left, helper root dot right. Okay, and one thing you want to notice over here is the helper function is going to end up outputting us a tuple value of the height, comma, whether it's balanced or not. So let's just unpack those values right over here. So over here, we're going to get the left depth or the left height whatever you want to call it. And the other value we're going to get is whether it's balanced or not. So left balance, okay? And let's just unpack the right values as well. So over here we have the right height and we're also going to check if the right is balanced or not. So those are the two things that we're looking for. And uh, after this, uh, so we, okay, so over here we're, we got everything on the left of it and over here we got all of the right subtrees. So what happens once we get all the left and the right subtrees? So now that we got both of the left and right subtrees, we're currently at that root node that we were talking about. So when we are at a certain root node, after getting the left and the right subtrees, we want to return a value. So what is the value we're going to return? So over here, we want to return the height and whether it is balanced or not. So how exactly do we get the height? So for the height, all we want to do is we are going to take the maximum between the left height and the right height, okay? So that's how we're going to end up getting our height, the maximum between the left height and the right height. Okay, perfect. So now we got our right. Uh, okay, so now we got our height, and now how do we get to know whether it is balanced or not? So this over here is going to be a Boolean value, and to check it, we have three different conditions. So the first condition is if left balance is true, okay? So L balance, okay, so L balance has to be true, and the other condition is that right balance also has to be true. So L balance and R balance. So those are two things that have to be true. And what else has to be true? So the other condition over here is that the difference between the two depths, so uh, L height minus R height has to be less than or equal to one. Okay, so this over here, we actually want the absolute difference. So let's just do that, sorry. Uh, so put this inside of brackets and get the absolute value between these two. So the absolute uh, difference between the left height and the right height has to be less than or equal to one. So if all three of these conditions are met, we're going to end up having a value of true. But if that's not the case, then we're going to have a value of false. Okay, so that should be it for our helper function. And at the very ending, we're done with our helper function over here. And we actually want to call this function right now. So we're going to call helper and we're going to be calling it at the root node at the very beginning. And um, the output of this function over here is going to be a tuple value, but we're only interested with whatever is at the very ending. So negative one or one, either of them works. So we just want to know whether it's true or false. And this is what we're going to end up returning. So let's submit this. Okay, so I actually made a small mistake over here. Uh, this is not supposed to be root. Uh, instead, this is supposed to be node. And the reason for that is because uh, node is actually what the input of our function over here is, not root. So sorry about that. So this is also supposed to be root. Sorry, node, not root. And there's actually another thing that I forgot to do. So uh, one thing that you want to make sure. So like we saw over here, so after we were done with this 15 and 7, when we went to 20, we increased the height by 1. So that is also something that we have to do, which I forgot to do. So once we get the maximum between the left height and the right height, we're going to add one to it. Okay. 
And the reason we're adding one is because we're going up one level. So that means that the height also has to increase by one. So this over here should get accepted. So sorry about those mistakes, guys. And as you can see, our submission was accepted. So finally, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Sorry about all those mistakes. And yeah, thank you.